Greetings everyone, this is Howard with your full-time RVLiving.com. Uh, it is uh, Sunday, January 7th, and I've been doing a little bit filming while I'm here at the show because this is a great venue. Uh, I have come across a friend of ours, uh, Lou King, with Royal RV Inspection. You can see that here on his hat. And uh, I wanted to just spend a little bit of time with him and have him describe a little bit about why he does what he does, because he is a business associate of mine. We work together in this particular industry of RV inspections, but Lou has a very unique story in that he is the one four years ago that coined the phrase for us in the RV inspection industry that it's a, what is what is it what we're doing Lou? It's like home inspection for RVs. Okay, a home inspection for your RV and that has really helped us in our industry to help people understand what it is we do because I think most people have figured out that they need an inspection on their home when it's being sold but is that something that happens in the RV industry? Very often. And until what, we came along, Howard. Okay, so why is it a good idea that somebody should have an RV inspection prior to purchasing their RV? Because it's a house on wheels and it has a lot of systems similar to a, a residential home, but it's different because it has to bounce along the road. So we can come along and inspect that for a, a future purchaser. And see if there's any issues because there's a lot of problems that can happen with the RV, as you know, the different system, electrical, water, uh, sewer, whatever. And we can trust the buyer that he's telling us the truth, but we come along and we verify it. Trust but verify. That's my motto. Okay, okay. Because I want these people, especially the first time buyers of RVs, to have a good first experience because if they get bad experience, they get burned the first time they're liable to say, honey, RVing's not for us. That's I don't want that to happen. So I'm like you, I'm passionate about these first time RVers. I want them to have a good first experience. So RV inspection, like home inspection for RVs, is the answer. Awesome. And we have found out in the industry, folks, that somebody who has a bad experience, like you said, they're probably not going to buy another one and they're going to tell a bunch of other people, say, that RV industry is just not good so but those that do have a good experience which is what we're trying to help folks with in an average buy seven RVs in their lifetime and this is something we want to see more of because we want to see folks enjoy it as we do uh, and myself as a full-timer especially so what what first got you into this thing? what what drew you to the industry of RV inspections okay well it was through work camping and uh, I'd run into a work camper years before I bought my RVer, and he told me about work camping for your hookups, you know, do a little part-time work, and I said, oh, Linda, that's what we can do. I'm so excited. That's a way we can help support our RV. So first thing I did once we got our, our retired, I'd signed up. I'd already signed up with the work camper. I think I'd become a gold work camper or something. Okay. And, uh, so, so we started work camping, and then they said, hey, you can learn to work on your RV. We're offering this RV maintenance course with Terry Cooper, the RV professor, awesome. Texas okay. RV professor. So I signed up for that. They said, oh, by the way, in addition to maintenance, we're also going to tell you how, if you're interested, you could become an RV inspector along with the maintenance. So as it turned out, I learned the maintenance, but I was really interested in the inspection. I said, hey, I can do that. I've been learning to work on my RV, and I want to help people get a good RV. So it was a natural for me. And so the maintenance has still been wonderful, but now you know I have my own business with the RV inspection here in the San Antonio area. And uh, Terry Cooper has taught us, uh, the uh, Texas RV professor, he talks about purple monkeys, and those are those things that sit on our shoulder, and when something goes wrong in an RV, we hear a lot of the, oh, this is going to be expensive, and we kind of panic and freak out, when really 80% of those things in an RV are what? They're easily accessible and easily fixed. They're easy to fix, absolutely. So uh, we call those purple monkeys, and, and here is Lou. He's dressed in purple, purple <laughs> and uh, this, is, this is his purple monkey locator. This is his tablet that he uses on his inspection, goes through, and then he also generates your your reports are typically how long? How long your, what the reports, how many pages typically oh, are? Oh, it just varies, depends uh, how many issues there are, maybe with the reports, how many notes I make. So I don't know, 50, 60 pages. 50, 60 pages with? With, with pictures with picture. and documentation mm -hmm. so that my customer can get the truth about the RV and see 
if any issues are there, and if so, they become bargaining points with a seller to say, hey, I'm interested in this RV, but if you'll get this, this, and this fixed, I'll buy it. So uh, so they can have get those things fixed and have that good experience how we're awesome. trying to get I'm sure there's lots of stories you can tell uh, about your experiences. Maybe we'll catch this in another video. If people want to find you, Lou is here in the San Antonio, San Antonio area. He bases out of Caraville. What is your website? It's RoyalRVInspection.com. RoyalRVInspection.com. So you can find Lou there. So if you have, if it doesn't matter where you are in the country, if you find an RV here in the San Antonio area, uh, Lou might be able to go out there then and look at that for you and help you make that educated buying decision. Okay? Exactly. And hey, and Howard, since you mentioned all over the country with RV Trader, some people that have done it. One for our client in Idaho. I mean, I can become their boots on the ground for that RV and give them that third-party professional inspection. I've done one for uh, somebody in Florida, uh, New York. I did one for my lady in New York. So it's exciting. The internet's really opened up a lot of potential for us to help folks if they find an RV in this area. Awesome, awesome. Lou, thank you. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure, Howard. Good. Your full-time RVLiving.com, Howard here at the San Antonio RV Show, here helping folks not buy a money pit. How about that? It's a good idea, right? Okay. Thank you. We'll be back again with you soon. Bye-bye.